All right, so this is going to be a Costco Roadshow item of the Screen Ridge Naturals Smoked Fresh Polish Beef Sausage. All right, price of this $13.99. All right, let's go ahead and take a look. <coughs> All natural, grass fed beef. All right, smoked fresh Polish beef sausage. See, it says made with grass-fed beef, but does that mean all the beef is grass-fed or they just put a piece of grass-fed? Because sometimes companies will say made with natural or all natural ingredients, but then like not everything is theirs all natural. <laughs> They'll put stuff like that. All right, anyways, here you go. Smoked fresh Polish beef sausage, no nitrates, no nitrates or nitrites added. No fillers added, fully cooked, ready to eat, keep refrigerated, all right? Naturally smoked, no MSG, 12 grams protein per serving. Net weight, 32 grams, two pounds, 907 grams. Okay, minimally processed, no artificial ingredients, except those naturally occurring in sea salt. Oh, the um, nitrites or nitrates is, um, yeah. All right, anyways, <coughs> here you go. Same stuff there, same stuff there. Let's pull this out. So these things, the packaging, they just make them slide off. Okay, so there's two of these full-sized folded over sausages. Okay, let's go ahead and open this up so you can see what it says on the inside. All right, Green Ridge. All right, same stuff as all the other ones for over eight, uh, for over 15 years. Brother Michael and Sebastian Madej have delivered fresh European-inspired meats to communities, creating connections through food and the powerful act of sharing a meal. Committed to producing high-quality food made with only natural ingredients, we take pride in our process and are passionate about crafting only the best for you and your family. That's the Green Ridge way. Okay, same stuff. Oh, this one actually has heating instructions. <laughs> the other ones didn't. Well, I'm not going to be grilling it, but you can see you can preheat a ga uh, gas grill to medium or to low heat <clears throat> and then if charcoal allowed to burn until white ash has formed on the coals place links on grill about eight to nine inches above the heat source cook for seven to ten minutes turning the links frequently if possible use tongs rather than a fork to prevent casings from puncture oh i opened all the casings on all the ones i cooked so all right product will be hot let's stand for one to two minutes prior to serving top with your favorite condiments and enjoy <clears throat> pan heating remove links from package place links in a shallow pan add one uh, half an inch of water and cover right simmer on low heat for about 10 minutes turning often product will be hot let stand for one to two minutes prior to serving oh i don't know if I, I didn't do any of that with the other ones okay microwave remove links from package place in microwave safe dish pierce links in several places with a fork to allow steam to escape our natural casing add water to cover links um Cover dish, heat on high for one minute, 45 seconds. Turn links, heat again, one minute, 45 seconds. Product will be hot, let stand for one to two minutes prior to serving. All right, freeze or storage for optimum freshness. Freshness, keep refrigerated, refrigerated and used by the date stamped on the package. Open package should be consumed within five days or frozen no longer than 90 days. Thaw in refrigerator or microwave. All right, here are the nutrition facts. 16 servings per container, serving size 2 ounces, 130 calories per serving, uh, 10 grams of fat, 13%, 4 grams saturated fat, 20%, 35 milligrams of cholesterol, 12%, sodium, 440 milligrams, 19%, <clears throat> 1 gram of carbs, 0%, and then 12 grams of protein. There is 10 milligrams of calcium, not even 1%, 1 milligram of iron, 6%, and 148 milligrams of potassium, 4%. Ingredients are... Beef, water, contains 2% or less of sea salt, black pepper, garlic, brown sugar, cultured celery powder, vinegar, and it's in a natural pork casing. All right, same uh, address and stuff as all the other ones. <clears throat> Keep refrigerated once open, use or freeze within five days. All right, give me a second. All right, so I decided I'll actually cook it all the ways. All right, so we're just going to take one of them, and actually even one is too much. So we'll probably take half of one. Okay, let's go ahead and slip this open. Okay, let's see here, so I only want half, but sadly I think the packaging requires you to take out <laughs> most of it. So we're going to cut this open, and I probably accidentally slit the casing. That's probably more than enough, I'm just going to cook that much, okay? So there we go, and it said not to cut the casing for it, but too bad. It said fully cooked, so let's go ahead and give this a try, okay? Mmm. Not bad. Alright, I'm going to do it again. 
like before. I'll um, microwave a piece, probably about 18 seconds, pan fry a piece, air fry a piece, and I guess grill a piece. I tried it raw already and it's good. All right, so let's go ahead and do that. All right, as you can see, the charcoals have some ash on it, so we're gonna go ahead and start grilling this up. Okay, I do need to get the one out of the air fryer soon, so I'm gonna have to go get that real quick. But for now, we'll just do that. Okay, we'll let it sit. I'll be back. All right, the air fried one just finished. Let's take a look. We'll leave it like that. All right, we'll start the pan fried one soon, but let me make sure the grill one doesn't burn. All right, you can see it's grilling up. It's grilling up nicely. Probably don't need to let it go for that long because this charcoal chimney kind of forces all the hot air straight up. So it gets a lot hotter this way, okay? Can maybe even grill it this way, but then it's gonna stick to the grates. Yeah, it kind of sticks to it a little bit. That looks good. Get some of the charcoaly flavor. They did say to put the whole thing on the grill. As you can see, this tiny grill is not gonna fit a whole thing, and the casing is definitely gonna like let all the stuff leak out. So, because I have to cut it. So, yeah. Ooh, that was hot. Probably already cooked enough, but uh, we'll let it cook a little bit more just to make sure. Because it did say like seven to how long? Something seven minutes or so, seven to ten minutes. You can see the casing split open from the heat. Yeah, I think it's good. You can see how the casing is all kind of cooked up now. Alright, so that's just about good. Let's bring it in and we'll work on the other two, microwave and air um, and pan fry. Alright, so here we have the pan fried one going. I'm just going to do it like before where I was kind of pushing it down with my hands. And then once it's warm enough all around, then we'll go ahead and microwave the last one and then give all four a try. Wait, let me do it the way they said, because they said like to put water and stuff. Give me a second. Okay, it said half an inch of water, but I have barely any sausage in there, so that's probably more than enough. Let me get a thing. It said to simmer on like, what, medium low heat? Okay, it said to simmer on low heat, so I'll set it down, and then let me get a lid and cover this. All right, it said simmer on low heat and rotate often, so let me get a thing, and I think it's supposed to actually stay in the water, so let's go ahead and roll that into the water and then put the lid back on. I'm probably only going to do about five more minutes. Um, it's probably been in there about two, but because I'm only doing such a small portion, I don't think we need to do ten minutes, right? <laughs> right, so we're just letting it simmer in there like that. All right, let's take it back out and rotate it some more. Oh no, now the other ones are getting cold. I don't think it's going to be a fair comparison now. Okay, while we're at it, let's go ahead and start the microwave one for 18 seconds. This one's still going. You can see this one also, the casing is cracking open. Microwave one finished. Let's take a look. Hopefully that was long enough. Let's grab the other ones. Okay, we got microwaved, we got air fried, and then we got grilled. I think this one's just about done. I don't think it needs to cook that much longer. 
Maybe we'll just go till all the water evaporates. All right, I'll let it cook. It's just about done. The water's pretty much gone. Let's do the edges because why not? browned a little bit there, even though it's not really browning. Okay. All right, that's pretty much it. All right, there you go. Microwave, pan fried with the, uh, or steam fried, I don't know what you call that, air fried, and then grilled. Let's go give them a try. All right, so here we go. Let's give the microwave one a try first. It's actually the warmest. Hmm. Not bad. They're actually all still warm. Okay. Hopefully this won't burn me. Maybe I should cut it a bit more. I don't know. No. All right. It's pretty hot. Okay. Let's actually skip over to the air fried one. Because that one finished first. Some black burnt stuff there. Okay. Try the air fried one. Mm-hmm. I just microwave it compared to the air fried, honestly. All right. Let's try, well, let's try this one. Actually, that's still way too hot. Let's try this air fried one. I mean the grilled one. Hmm. Slightly better outer casing, it's a little bit better flavor, but essentially the same thing. <laughs> Honestly, I'd go with microwave, you just have to know how long to microwave it. Alright, last one. Yeah, they're all essentially the same thing. I just go with whatever. Anyway, so that's pretty much it. They're pretty good, pretty tasty. Give them a try. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.